What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to apply a next and a previous button link into our blog posts or products or any kind of post type, even pages in the case that you want to keep your site readers, your site users, your site visitors engaged and reading more from your content let me share with you an example of this next and previous button, okay? Here is one of the infinity layouts that we have on our Enzo free WordPress team that you can download on wordpress.org and by default our team have the next and previous button, okay? If you click into this button, we're gonna navigate to the previous slider and if you click into the right burner button, you're gonna navigate to the next blog post, okay? This can help a lot to make your users read more of your content, okay? So it's recommended for a good blog. So before anything, hit the subscribe button because you're gonna enjoy these videos, you're gonna like what we bring every week for WordPress and every kind of tutorial, so subscribe our channel, okay? And after this, we're gonna be using a plugin to apply this because unfortunately, not all the teams have these options for next and previous and you may not using our Enzo WordPress team yet so we're gonna may need a plugin to apply these buttons without coding okay and the plugin that we're gonna be using is the CBX next previous article okay it's a very good plugin it's not very used yet it's a, almost a new plugin okay not people not a lot of people know about it but it's good work good have a good interface and even on the free version because we're gonna keep all for free into this video have tons of options that are gonna be useful okay so first of all we're gonna move to our WordPress dashboard plugins add new once into the plugins add new list into the search for plugins at the top right corner we're gonna post the plugin name CBX next previous article okay click on it click on activate you're gonna be redirected to the plugins list page a page where, where it, it lists the plugins that you have installed on your WordPress website and here is the plugin we're gonna click on settings so we can start in the editions okay the very first option that you're gonna see is the plugin option okay and the position okay the vertical position vertical position of the arrow air or temp okay the vertical position type it's 50 percent but can be in pixels in the case that you want we can show on the home page yes or no you can show in the article view category tags outdoor dates okay so the taxonomies okay we want to show we can show in the category view no problem we can show in the tag view show in the author view show in the dates view navigate by category taxonomy it's nice okay the post type selection so here is where you can for example select the plugin to work on your wordpress media or even if you are running a shop on your products for example it's good it's nice to explore okay the show post you can show previous and next show both arrow in article yes show both arrow in single details hmm, see no problem on it we're gonna review that and next and previous style okay here we have the arrow style we have classic blue dark green orange and red let's try the dark here's the blue and the classic Let's keep on the dark. Open link target, same window or a new tab. Click on same window because we are on your website. We are not going to another website. There is another video in our Visual Moto channel. Just search, search for it. Where they, they explain the link attributes and reference. Okay, so here in this video, we're going to be explaining... Uh, in their video gonna be explaining more about this but choose same window 
save change. Now let's review the navigate by taxonomy, okay? Here is where you can edit, okay? Taxonomies by category. Select a page and select media, okay? And the Google Analytics, okay? In the case that you want to enable tracking. Here is the options that we have. Now let's explore the plugin usage and work, okay? Here is one of our blog posts and as you can see into the left and into the into the right and into the left sides of our screens we have now two new arrows where we can navigate from post to post. It can integrate with this button that Enzo WordPress team is applied by default, okay? It's nice, it's very useful in the case that you are running, for example, a full widget block, a full widget blog posts, for example. Imagine something like Medium, for example, okay? We are showing this into our homepage, but once we are not running a blog from the homepage, the homepage it's to feature other parts, we're gonna be removing this from the home page. So go to the plugin options, the basic options, show on home page, select no and save changes. Changes are now saved. Let's reload the page. So no longer showing into the home page. And here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share with your friends and family in the case that it aggregates something for you. It helps us a lot. If you have a question, feel free to write down. If you have something to add, something to discuss, I'm gonna be happy to talk to you, okay? So feel free to use the comment section below. Talking about comment section, I'm gonna leave into the first comment of this video, fix it at the top. Very useful links for places when you can, for example, purchase a domain name for 99 cents. It's incredible. And a place where you can download free design assets like image, Photoshop templates, plugins, themes, and many more things every week, all for free. Review the links because they may be useful for you and to your pocket, okay? And also don't forget to follow Visual Moro on social media, okay? We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at, at Visual Moro, okay? Go to our website, visualmoro.com, in the case that you want to see more articles and tutorials, okay? And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And I see you later. All the best!